Mr. Miss, she cheated. I didn't. You just wrote about your mum. Anyone could do that. You couldn't. Tyrone, the people we admire don't have to be famous. Sometimes the people we know, people who inspire us to live our best life. So who inspires you the most? Little Mushroom! <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Very inspirational. Now, who's next? Hey, Geeky Beaky. What are you reading? Nothing. Get off. Justine Littlewood was the meanest girl in the dumping ground. Stop it! Is this your mum's book? The one she wrote? Just give it back. Let go. Oh. Now look what you've done. Oh, oh my nose. Oh. Tyrone. There you go. Hello? What sort of accident? With who? How exactly? Bullying policy. Tyrone wasn't bullying Jess. If anything, he came off worse. Don't you dare blame this on Jess. This happened on your watch and I hold you fully responsible. It was just a nosebleed. It's all in the accident book. He fainted! Poor Jess was terrified! You won't tell anyone, will you? You don't tell anyone my mum yelled at the teacher. Why not? I wish my mum would. I never liked it here anyway. I can't believe I trusted you with my daughter. I want a full investigation and someone should be sacked for this. Jess, go and wait outside. Please, it wasn't Miss Oliver's fault. You don't have to stand up for her. I want to. She's nice, not like Miss Vomit Bagley. <laughs> Who? My old school teacher. Look, if I'm being honest, me and school, we never really got on. And I just wanted things to be different for Jess. They are. Jess is a delightful student. It's a privilege to teach her. Thank you. I'm sorry for kicking off. You know, if you really want to work on your anger issues... Uh, excuse me, I do not have anger issues. We all need to blow off steam sometimes. You know what I find helpful? Knitting. Kickboxing. Hey, Jess. See? Where's your mum? Still at the hairdresser? Yeah. Go on, Alfie. Good boy. How was football training today? Yeah, it was OK. But next time you see your friend Tyrone, tell him I expect my place to turn up on time. Every time. Was he late? He wasn't there. But I saw him in school and he was really looking forward to it. Right, well, call him right now and tell him from me. He doesn't have a phone. His mum sold it. He told you that? Everyone knows that's what she's like. This charity once bought Tyrone a new bike. She put it straight on eBay. Unbelievable. It's true. Her boyfriend makes her do it. Tyrone says he takes the money for, you know. Kids like that, they just... <laughs> It's never stand a chance. He loves training with you. He wouldn't miss it unless... Unless what? Can we go in and check on him, please? What? Hi there, I'm looking for Tyrone. It's you. Can we come in? It's him, isn't it? Tyrone, mate. Missed you at training today. Sorry. Why didn't you show up? You're not ill, are you? Didn't love my kit. What happened to all the stuff I bought you? And you bought him a football kit. Lost it. Lost it? Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. 
I'm going to put you on the Sean Godfrey scholarship. What's that? I buy you a new kit and anything else you need. And I'll be around every week to take you to training. Awesome. I'm relying on you. Make sure he doesn't lose his kit again. There's no such thing as a Sean Godfrey scholarship, is there? There is now. Look, Jess, I know you're not exactly my biggest fan. But it's not that. It's just... Mum, you and her just don't seem right together. OK, look. I get it. I do. But it's... <sighs> Sorry, I'm not good with words. Better with my feet. But there's something I'd like you to see at home. Come on. She couldn't find another job. And then... We got the worst news of all. What is it? It's Alfie. Someone snitched to the Housing Association. We have to take him back to Battersea. I don't know what else we can do. Maybe Cam could look after it. No. I need foster girl, Lorraine. She's allergic. <sighs> Maybe we could find someone else to look after him. Alfie's our dog. This is our home. It's not fair. Life's not fair, Jess. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to snap. <sighs> I just... I can't sort this out right now. OK. I just need to rest. Clear my head for a bit. Mum did a lot of resting, but her head never seemed to get any clearer. Jess, can I have a word? It's OK, Tyrone. We'll save Jess a seat in the canteen. She won't be long. It's all right, miss. It's not like you to forget your homework. Sorry, miss. Is everything OK at home? Fine. Good. Can you ask your mum to pop in and see me when she gets a chance? Why? There's nothing for you to worry about. Then tell me why you want to see her. I've been speaking to Camilla. We just wondered if your mum might be struggling a little bit. She's not struggling. Jess, everyone needs a bit of help sometimes. You don't understand. Mum was in care if... You think she's not coping? They'll take me away. I promise you, Jess, that is not going to happen. Times have changed. You and your mum have got people who love you and want to help. Hi, ah, Jess. What are you doing here? Well, your mum and I decided that she needs a little holiday. So you two are going to come and live with me for a couple of weeks. Just until I feel a bit better. What about Alfie? Mary's going to look after him for now. Who's Mary? That's Mary. I've told her. I hope that's all right. You can come and visit whenever you like. It was fun staying with Cam and her foster daughters. Like being part of a big family. And somehow, Miss Oliver became family too.